Hi, this is Terry Butcher. Watch my update from the Hibs Training Centre. Terry, we're here ahead of the Tuesday morning training session here at the Hibernian Training Centre. Just to begin with, what's the latest with regards to Paul Heffernan's injury that you picked up at uh, the game on Saturday? Well, he had a scan last night and we're just awaiting the reports on that. But, um, you know, we're, we probably think it's going to be, you know, it could be three to six weeks. We're not too sure as about the uh, extent of the injury. But, um, yeah, it was a... It's a bit of a hammer blow, really, just you know, coming so, so early in the game, five minutes into the match against the Mirren. So uh, it's, it's unlucky for Paul, but you know, it gives other people like James Collins a, a great chance just to get in the, uh, into the team as well. So you know, if one door sort of closes, another one opens. Just in terms of the captaincy as well, you handed the captain's armband to Liam Craig on Saturday at St Mirren. What's the likelihood of him retaining that on a long-term basis? Oh yes, he will retain it. He's uh, he's a player that, for me, is always going to be there in terms of his. You know, he's always available for selection. He very rarely gets injured. Um, he might get suspended for the odd game, of course, which we've seen. But he's certainly one that's uh, you know very much at the forefront of the of the action. He wants to get involved. He's in the sort of engine room in midfield. I like my captains to be in that sort of department, and um, he's, he's a player I think that everybody's got great respect for for what he's done in the game and you know what he will do for Hibernian Football Club. And like yourself, a graduate of the Ipswich Town Academy as yeah. well, he came up through the youth ranks there at Portman Road. Did you seek any kind of ca character references from your your former colleagues down there about him? No, it's it's funny as you say that, and it didn't have any influence on my decision. But yeah, it's you know it is a great academy down there. It's a great sort of. Uh, uh, well, Ipswich has got a great conveyor belt um, of talent. They always have had, but um, no, it's, it's just the fact that um, he is what he is. And you know what we've seen when we've played against uh, St Johnson in the past is that um, he's very competitive, gets in the box, scores goals. I think he scored a winner against us a few years ago. So yeah, he's he's an all-round you know action sort of type of player, and I just like him and the way he goes about his work. And he's he's taken to the role very well. You know, got some tips from James McPake, of course, and he's telling him what to, what to do and what not to do. But uh, yeah, already he's uh, he's getting warmed up with the role, with the tickets and um, requests. He goes comes to Morris, and you know, with all the player requests and player appearances, he's he's the one to sort that out. So there's a great responsibility actually within the club, more so than you see on the pitch. But within the club itself, you've got to be very active and proactive. And you know, you've got to try and get players to go to things they don't necessarily have time for or whatever. But he's certainly a good captain and good good captaincy material. The first team squad obviously are warming up behind you. What's uh, the plan for today's training session then in terms of preparing for that Scottish Cup tie up at Ross County? Well, it'll be a double training session today. The frost has gone out of the ground. Yesterday we trained right on the far side, uh, found a little area about two o'clock in, in the afternoon. So by the time we were coming in, it was a bit dark. I think we needed miners' helmets. I don't know if. Nike do miners' headlamps where you strap them around your head and thrust the play. But it was a bit uh, late yesterday, but a good bit of fun as well, just to get rid of Saturday. Um, double session today for, for those not involved in the under-20s match at Hamilton tomorrow. There'll be one or two that'll be playing in that. So, uh, yeah, we'll look forward to that. And now that the frost has gone and the cold weather sort of, you know, been put uh, aside for uh, a week or two weeks, we can get down to some good training as well on a... On a uh, a beautiful services as, as they are here but it's good to get back out it's good to get the players looking forward to the Ross County game and uh, um, yeah it's a, it's, a, it's a great cup tie to anticipate look forward to we'll travel up on the Friday and, and prepare properly uh, on a lovely pitch as well at uh, Victoria Park in Dingwall so yeah it's um, another you know you, you try and get rid of the previous game as quick as possible and all of a sudden another one's coming up and they're great games and great challenges for us.